Okay. Scorpion control to a rolling electric saddle. Um, we're going to show some minor variations into it. The electric saddle um, is um, in honor of Eddie Bravo's electric chair. Um, is a variation of the electric chair um, in which uh, you attack the hips and the, and the knees. Um, it's probably not legal for competition, but you can certainly hang on to someone and lock them down really tightly and um, use it in a tournament to wear them out. It, once again, it's a painful position to be in. Um, so I have Vern inside now. And just as before, he hooks in your leg over and there's, we've developed a couple variations of the roll for this, this motion, but as you remember, the uh, electric or the, um, the, the scorpion control requires me to rotate my hips, half guard, I basically get a little tiny quarter guard on his, on his, on his leg, I keep his hips down, pressure down, to, to twist his body, put pressure on the hips and the knee. All right. What I want to do is I want to make sure my right leg, that's this hooking leg, can get up as tight as possible, up under his knee. So I come in, I get the, uh, the scorpion control, I, I make a slight minor adjustment, and I'm going to rotate my body. All right? I'm actually going to unlock my outside leg. I'm going to keep this hook, very active hook, come around the body, the left arm comes through their legs. My shoulder's gonna land right here. Hand goes to his foot. And I wanna sit up, all right? I keep my weight on his knee. I keep my weight on his knee with my armpit. And I'm just gonna straighten my leg, the electric saddle. Um, you can probably do plenty of other things. One thing we noticed was this leg you want out. If you put it under here, they can roll you over. It's not a good thing. You want to stay right here. And all you do is just straight, just, just kick straight out. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty crazy technique. Um, this hand, um, my left hand keeps me from rolling backwards. Um, Really not all that worried about it. There's a lot of pressure on this leg and hip. Um, if I need to, if I really have to, I can switch legs and rotate into them, keep a weight on them, and recover from there. Once again, our aim on these positions is to be comfortable for you with minimal energy expenditure, and I want your opponent to constantly be wasting energy to get out of these things. Um, using leverage as much as we can, using gravity as much as we can, using your body weight as much as we can to, uh, to frustrate your opponent and, and make it just a, a bad day for him. Um, so one more time on the electric saddle. Rotate, hook up, decide the electric saddle is in order. Rotate around, sit up, straighten.